All right, so the final type of um, diuretics are the osmotic diuretics. So this is really, really simple. I think this is the simplest out of the five. So general information, osmotic diuretics, they work at the level of the PCT, the descending loop of Henle, and the collecting duct. So basically, all the regions if, of the kidney that are permeable to water. So they work here, the PCT, at the descending loop of Henle, and the collecting duct. So anywhere where um, there's high water permeability in nephron, okay? So these um, agents are IV only, they are not orally absorbed. Um, examples include mannitol, this is the most common one. The mechanism of action, again, very, very simple. They basically increase the osmolarity inside the tubule, which prevents water from being reabsorbed. So that means you just increase the volume of urine by making the, um, the filtrate higher in osmolarity okay so the net effect um they are high ceiling diuretics because they're really really good at increasing that urine um volume okay so um uses of osmotic diuretics so they are used primarily for water retention rather than um, sodium excretion if you want sodium excretion you could use the other types of diuretics um, so they are also used to treat the increase in intracranial pressure. They are used to reduce intraocular pressure, and that's very useful for the treatment of glaucoma. And they are used for um, acute renal failure. So they encourage diuresis, which may save the patient from having to have dialysis. So adverse effects include dehydration, because as I said, they are really powerful um diuretics you know they increase the volume of water really really well that we pee out so they can cause dehydration um then it can be followed by either hypo or hypernatremia so hyponatremia is low um sodium and hypernatremia is high sodium in the body so hyponatremia can follow because you know we can pee out sodium with water because as we know sodium and water love each other so if we pee out water then we can pee out a lot of sodium as well however hypernatremia can also occur because of dehydration as more sodium relative to water may stay inside the body and we create a state of hypernatremia okay so headaches nausea and vomiting are also very common side effects Right, so contraindications include um, an, a neuric patient. So we can't give this to patients whose kidneys are not producing any urine, okay? Um, it's also contraindicated for patients with active cranial bleeding.